the new channel. See the new. The new channel. See the new. The views, opinions, and insights expressed in the following show are those of the hosts, producers, guests, and viewers. They do not necessarily reflect the position of the channel. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello and welcome to the new channel, your daily source of live stream inspiration. My name is Lloyd Luna. This is The Big Picture. Hello! Magandang gabi, Pilipinas! Gusto nyo sa Mindanao? <laughs> At kung nasan lupalop man po kayo ng mundo, magandang gabi. Good evening, Rochelle. Good evening, Ira. Good evening, Carmi. ating mga maagang stream viewers. June 6, June 6, June 6, araw pa ng Sabado. At alam niyo na, nung normal na buhay, ang Sabado ay oras ng pagpapahinga. Pero simula na nag-quarantine, hindi natin alam kung anong kaibahan ng weekdays at weekend. <laughs> Hi Cho, how are you? To those of you who are watching the, the live stream, please do uh, drop some comments, suggestions, and questions. I'm from uh, comment stream. At syempre, babatiin natin yung mga masigasig na nag-engage sa ating conversation. And as usual, ang ating conversation ngayon magiging inspirational and for the most part, educational because tonight, may in-invite tayo na medyo medyo nakakakilig daw kasi may hitsura. <laughs> Hi, Carla! Sir Albert, how are you? Cho is watching from watching from Tarlaca. So comment comment lang po. Hi Jen. So uh, tonight we will be uh, inspired by our guest. And also we're going to, to explore some opportunities dun sa ating topic ngayon which is actually the business of language. Ilang language ang kaya ninyong uh, 
maisalita. How do you put it in English? How many language can you speak? <laughs> I was very, very young back then, about uh, maybe 16, 17 years ago, when my mentor asked me about language, something about language. The question was, uh, Lloyd, how many languages do you know? I said, well, one Filipino and one um, English. So that's two. And then he went on saying, The more language you know, the more opportunities you will get. The more likely you're going to succeed. <laughs> mas, maraming, mas maraming alam na lengguahe, mas maraming opportunities, mga kaibigan. So between sa dalawang tao na ang isa ay may tatlong uh, lengguahe na alam at isa na isa lang lengguahe ang alam, eh, medyo dehado po yung isang lengguahe lang ang alam. So tonight, pag-usapan natin yan dahil, uh, hindi ko lang, multilingual na yata yung ating guest ngayon. Kaya excited ako dahil may magkakaroon tayo ng mga translations daw. Oh, because uh, the business is really uh, yung language. So if you are ready, and then please, please, you have questions and suggestions, uh, ibigay niyo lang po sa aming uh, comment stream. At sasagutin namin yan. Kung may mga ipapatranslate kayo, baka may translate ng guest natin. <laughs> Medyo mainit din ang panahon ngayon eh, no? Oo, lumabas kami, nagpa, nagpa laundry. Eh, medyo, yung mga tao talagang wala ng social distancing actually. Yung mga mask, pero wala ng social distancing. Hi, Teacher Rome! Oo, guess natin kagabi. 1.6 thousand views. <laughs> In 24 hours. Hello, Opa. Sir Jonathan Campos, are you in Butuan? Masa po kayo dyan, sa Mindanao. Okay, good. So, kung ready na kayo, eh, di bago ako magsimula, uh, importante na basahin ko muna ang headlines mula po sa The Manila Times. Duterte, leave it over compensation delay. House, okay, 2.8 trillion pesos stimulus bills. COVID leaves 7.3 million Filipinos unemployed. Teen providing food to frontline workers visits Chinese embassy. Anti-terror bill protests danger to health, according to PNP. Headlines presented to you by the Manila Times. Go to manilatimes.net for more news and information or download their applications at digitaledition.manilatimes.net. Sige, kung excited na kayo, edi uh, pasukin na natin yung guest. Excited na ba kayo? <laughs> Kaway-kaway naman. <laughs> Excited ako kasi baka mapalaban ako ng English. <laughs> yeah, kinakabahan talaga ako ngayon. <laughs> Pagka hindi ko na kaya mag-English, uh, we're going to pause for a very short commercial break. <laughs> Ha <laughs> 
Ezekiel Del Rio is uh, the CEO of uh, Conazur World Language Institute. Hello, Kel. Thank you so much for coming over to the big picture. Hi. Hi, Lloyd. Hi, Hao. 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 Ito, yeah. mami. <laughs> Hindi pa nag-umpisa. Nagpa, nagpasalamat pa lang. But thank you so much for coming over to the big picture. We're honored to have you here. And uh, for sure, marami kaming, uh, marami kaming inspiration sa ka, um, uh, education na matututunan ngayon. Because, you know, you, we, you are in the business of uh, education, uh, particularly dun sa, sa language. But before we move forward uh, discussing the business, uh, may I ask how you have been, uh, the family, since the lockdown? Okay, so actually, kami mag-asawa, medyo sanay na kami ng konti sa ganitong sitwasyon because uh, since 2017, when we moved to, when we tried to move to Canada for over six months, first month, okay, and then no mga uh, second month to the six months, may pagka-lockdown yung feeling ng dati kasi parang may pagka-vacation type yung nangyari. No? The only thing, the only difference is that The difference of this lockdown is, instead na nakakulong ka lang sa bahay, the marketplace is also not that easy to sell anymore compared to the previous, compared to the previous time. That's, so, so far, when it comes to that, when it comes to health, from the perspective of, um, of health, okay naman. And then, when it comes to business, well, it, it's a bit challenging than it was before, realistically. So, that's the reason why, sabi nga nila, we need to pivot, di ba? Mm-mm. And we need to find better solutions and how to educate our our clients better. Why do why do, why why are we still relevant even up to this time? Yeah, oh, that's interesting because again, uh, what happened was uh, unprecedented. That's uh, that's the main thing. Uh, nobody experienced this uh, prior uh, to this uh, situation. So when you first heard about it, uh, what was the first uh, thing that came into your mind? The lockdown, right? Yeah. We're talking about the lockdown, right? Okay. Yeah. So now, actually, I'm very fortunate because um, two weeks or three weeks before the lockdown, we had a guest from the National Health Institute of the Philippines and in the Rotary Club of Makati. So I'm part of the Rotary Club. And then that time also, luckily, I was the host. So after the whole seminar that happened during that time, I was able to talk with a person, like some, something like an insider info, two weeks before the lockdown happened. And then I asked him, Is, the, is lockdown possible here in the Philippines? Sabi niya, it's not just about possible, it's going to happen. Then I asked him, when is it going to happen? Then he told me, are we, are we talking about months? Sabi niya, no, weeks. So good thing, I was able to prepare my family first. We were able to get as much groceries as possible. Then second, I was able to warn already my employees about the imminent possibility that lockdown might happen. So... First, I was able to visit our branches up to Lucena, actually in Lucena. Oh, we were, we were able to visit our, yeah, we were able to visit our, our branches there in Lucena, in Lipa, and as far as Quezon City before it happened. Now, so yun, at least nakapag-prepare kami. The only thing is, ang hindi nakapag-prepare masyado, yung mga employees namin talagang kasi, ah, kasi akala lang namin, posible mangyari eh. Pero nung nangyari na, iba pala. Iba pala yun. Pag nangyari na talaga. So, sa una, mukhang akala natin sa gilid lang. But nung tumagal-tagal, doon na nagkaroon ng matinding effect din sa mga employees namin. Because we pay our employees na per hour rate. And we cannot pay them when there, when there is no work done. So, that is also very painful on our part. Kasi the, life, the lifestyle of our employees are affected as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's... Uh, that, that's uh... That's that's really interesting to know because uh, this is something that we that, that is very new to 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 everyone. So talagang yung mga mga negosyo na na, na shattered then and then na, na flattened then. But uh, before we we move forward uh, uh, discussing about the shift and probably a strategy uh, moving forward, uh, if you can tell us the story on on how you started with with this business because this is a very unique business. This is not a uh, food. This is not a uh, This is not something that uh, a, a product that people can can buy or order by a Shopee or Lazada. So, h- how did the 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 business start? Okay, 
So when I graduated, actually, mal- medyo malayo yung course ko dito eh. I graduated as a nurse. Yeah. So I even passed the board exam, but I'm an entrepreneur by heart. So I never ventured into nursing the day after my graduation. I told my dad that I, re- I already respected your decision for me to go into nursing, but please respect my decision now that I will venture into entrepreneurship. So that, it was that, very tough. It was a very tough decision. We have, we have something in common. I took ECE, Electronics and Communications Engineering. Okay. So uh, even before I graduated, <laughs> nakakatawa to kasi <laughs> sinabi ko din yan. O di ba, sabi nyo ang usapan natin, magtapos. Eh di ba tapos na? <laughs> so since tapos na, eh ako naman na pagbigyan ninyo. So never did I practice uh, engineering din. Okay, so being entrepreneurial, sinabi yeah, mo. Actually, we have a lot of common. I think we have almost even the same birthday. Is it May 12? Yeah. <laughs> no way. Well. Happy birthday to us. You know, you know what my purpose is? You know what my purpose is? Dapat pala ikaw yung guest. Dapat ikaw yung guest ko nung, uh, nung, nung birthday ko, di ba? Para double celebration. Right. But I, I, I wrote a, um, a column sa Manila Times when it was my birth, our birthday. Sabi ko, dapat pag mag-birthday ka within the quarantine period, <laughs> dapat hindi ka mag-paplus uh, one year. Kasi wala naman nangyari. So... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 29 pa rin pala ako ngayon. 29 ka pa din and ako 37 pa rin. So, well, supposed to be. All right, so you 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 had a, the word with your with your father uh saying that you wanted to pursue entrepreneurship. Medyo malayo nga doon sa sa nursing and then uh, language. So, yeah. how would the conversation uh uh, uh happen? Yeah. Uh, actually, it was not that easy. Like I always tell to I that's why I'm always grateful to my parents. I always say to them, I'm, I'm not an easy child to deal with. So, nangyari, nakailang businesses din naman ako eh. Actually, Connoisseur World Language Institute is the sixth business that I have ever done so far. I started doing business even I was in college. So, fast forward, so, nung Connoisseur World Language Institute na to, it happened because my dad is into the IELTS industry. So, he's training professionals like nurses to go abroad and pass the IELTS examination. IELTS is the exam that you need to take. It's an English proficiency exam that you need to take so that you can work abroad like in UK, Australia, New Zealand, and US. So that time, around 2011, the year I graduated, nagkaroon na demand ang Quebec, Canada. So Quebec needed at least as much as 10,000 nurses. Now, and the only thing is they needed to speak French. Then a lot of our clients at that time We're asking my dad, Mr. Del Rio, will, there, will you all be offering fresh in Lipa? Because that's where I came from, in Lipa. Then my dad always say, magkakaroon, magkakaroon, magkakaroon. But he never took, took an action. Mm-hmm. So ako naman, since wala akong masyadong ginagawa at that time, some of my ventures really did not push through well. So, you know, blessing in this, guys, that uh, kami na rin ang girlfriend ko nun. Yung asawa ko ngayon, si Beth, pareho din tayo ng may ng asawa, ano, di ba? <laughs> <laughs> So, may mga sa'yo yung best. So, yeah, masyado maraming coincidence, no? So, nasa rooftop kami ng office ng daddy ko. And then, I still remember that time, inawa kami niya yung mukha ko nun. So, sabi niya, di ba pag may nawawala, may mas magandang darating? So, sabi ko, okay. Bigla na lang pumasok sa isip ko, why not offer French in Lipa? So, sabi ko, now, it was... Now, sabi ko, sige, magsayo tayo ng business, French. And then, the next question is, the next question was rather, who will be my teacher? So, good thing, nag-aral ako sa Manila, I was able to tap all my connections until I was able to find a foreigner, a French teacher, who is, who is willing to work together with me. Mm-hmm. And then, through him, I was able also to gather the right material. But I told him, we need to do things the non-traditional approach. So, like, for example, just to take, tell, tell you something, Quebec, need people to work there and they need to speak French. But the only thing is the deadline is at less, less than in one year. And the proficiency they need is at least 7 out of 10. Hindi madali yun. Kasi sa UP, for them to produce with that level of proficiency, they need at least 3 years. My competitor, Alliance Francaise, they need to have at least 3 to 4 years of French language training before they attain the level. 
you know what? I don't buy t-shirts. You need to produce us in less than six months. Sabi sa akin ng French teachers ko, you're crazy. Sabi ko, buti na lang napanood ko yung uh, commercial ni Steve Jobs. Yeah, what was the commercial? Uh, yeah, sabi nila, the crazy ones are the ones who like become successful in I mean, massively shake the world. So, <laughs> I was about, that's what, I was about that's, I was I was about to say that yeah you're crazy I mean if I were uh, uh, if I were there I would have say, uh, said the same thing you're crazy but but uh, that was the first in in Batangas particularly in in Lipa yung in offer mo yeah it's the first in Lipa it's the first ever in Southern Luzon oh and the actually competitors went there after two years nung realize nila why bakit nagigipasan yung ibang mga French teachers nila sa akin una mas mataas kami magpasaldo Number two, marami kami sudyante. Like normally, a French training center, nagkakaroon ng, nagkakaroon ng sila ng mga sudyante pa ilan nila. Like lima, ampu. Pero yung mga teachers ko, nung lumipat sila sa akin, nagulat sila, ilan sudyante ko sa'yo? 40? 50? Uh, I mean, like ha, a, ibang pa yung umaga, ibang pa yung sagabi. Yeah, I mean, it's like a, a class. Uh, a normal normal class sa isang, sa isang school, di ba? 40 to 50 students. Isang session. Yeah. Yeah, so nagsimula kami doon, yung branch namin sa Lipa, and then nung nang lumakas na kami, nagkaroon kami ng Cebu in less than a year. Nagkaroon kami ng Cebu and in some in Espanya also. So, ganun, ganun nangyari. Now, the sad thing is, after two years, yung demand ng Quebec nag-iba. So, sabi ko, Lord naman, tuloy-tuloy na yung success, tapos ito na naman tayo, challenge na naman. Pero yung pala, dinala niya ako sa mas maganda. So, okay, nasa yung mas maganda. Yes? Yeah, nasa yung mas maganda. Okay, so, sabi ko, kasi before pala, nung gumadjit ako, masabi ko na ng konti. Di ba, sabi ko sa inyo, nag-entrepreneurship ako the day after my graduation. So, ano yung reason ko para payagan ako ng magulang ko? Ang ginawa ko, di ba that time, 2011, pababa, sikat na sikat ang business ng nursing review center. Yes. So, three months before I graduated, I sealed a deal from a branch in Manila to franchise it in Tiba. So, I told my mom, Ma, nag graduate ako, hindi ng diploma pinakita ko. Ma, may kontrata na ako, meron na akong franchise training review center. So, wala na urungan to kasi lahat ng ipong ko halos ginamit ko dito. So, wala sila nagawa, kundi, okay, oh, sumunod. Um, ano mo yun? Just, ano, gawin ko yung gusto ko. Now, a, I said, yeah. It sounds a blackmail to me, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, ang natutunan ko sa industry na yun is magbenta ng program sa loob ng school. So, sabi ko, why not ibaso ko yung foreign language program sa loob ng school? Kasi, isa rin sa natutunan ko sa principal ng Chinese, who are the people who can buy my programs in volume? So, yung strategy na yun, Sabi ko, sabi ko, yung kunosur, ipasok ko kaya sa mga school para hindi na ako nag-iisip ng enrollee. Kasi sa school, pag pinasok ko sa school, kung ilan ang studyante nila, studyante ko rin. Kaya ganyan na ginawa namin. So that's the reason why, currently, we have as much as 14,000 students lo locally and another 3,000 sure. nations I mean, outside, outside the country. Say the number again, uh, within Batangas area. I mean, no, not in Batangas, not in Batangas. I mean, nationwide now. Around okay, nationwide. How many? How many nationwide? Fourteen thousand students. Gosh, and this is it was uh, because of that strategy, no? Then we attribute talaga yeah. yung ano? Yeah, for example, yeah, oh. one school alone, one school alone will give me at least two thousand students. Eh. Okay, so dun papasok yung genius ng entrepreneurship. Yes, dun, dun, dun actually. Yeah, you're saying? Yeah, oh, So dun, dun papasok yung uh, yung talag parang inkling mo dun sa entrepreneurship kasi nga, hindi pwede dun sa magtatrabaho ka or magre-report ka sa isang boss kasi you cannot probably uh, baka hindi ka papaniwalaan ng boss mo kapag kasi sinabi mo na ganyan strategy, no? But since you were your own boss yeah. na Eh, yeah. siyempre, kaya mo na gawin lahat. Okay, so uh, the, it's, it's yeah. interesting. Uh, and ano, yung, ano yung mga challenges uh, naman noon? Because, you know, siyempre, hindi naman po, okay, alam natin yung strategy ay mag-over 
Agad. So when you were starting talking to school, probably, what were the initial challenges uh, that you faced uh, putting up the, the, the business or executing the strategy? Yeah, thank you, Lloyd. That's a very good question. Actually, tama pa dun yung puna mo sinabi kanina, di ba? Para sa akin kasi, the reason why I enter into entrepreneurship, isa lang realize sa buhay ng sobrang aga that I'm very so grateful. I'm, so, I'm very much grateful. Walang stable sa buhay. You go to employment anytime, your boss can fire you. You go to business, I mean, market forces can go against your business. So, na-realize ko nung maaga na wala naman pa na stable sa buhay. So, why not just do the thing that I really love most? Diba? So, that's the first reason. And then, yung strategy na ginawa ko so that I can future proof myself is I studied French. I studied French when we are when we are on our first two years of business. And then, dumating sa point na na-realize ko how powerful a foreign language is. Narinig ko kanina, sinabi mo kanina sa audience natin that foreign language open rare opportunities that only a foreign language speaker can open. Totoo yun. For example, not all Filipino knows not all Filipino know that if you know how to speak French, Mandarin, Spanish, German, Italian, Portuguese, Korean, or Nihongo here in the Philippines, kahit pa 18 years old ka, kahit hindi ka tapos na college, you are cemented with a six-figure income. You just need to go to knock on the doors of the BPO, where? In Alabang, in Quezon City, in Makati, and even in Cebu. There are BPOs like that. And what's the beauty here, right now, here in the Philippines? Dahil nag-lockdown, ito mga BPO na to, versado na silang kumuha ng employees kahit nasa ka because they are now, now work from home. So actually, the working environment for foreign language speakers even become better while receiving a minimum of six figure income while inside their house. Now, how did I say that this is a very good strategy? Kapag alam mo sa sarili mo na kahit ano mangyari sa'yo, you can go back to unemployment with a six-figure income, and in a matter of three or four months, you can bounce back again with a very good capital. What to worry about if you already have a high-level value of skin? So, you yeah, know, I know. Kumbaga, yeah. 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 I mean, like, exactly. Kung na-acquire mo na, hindi naman makukuha na sa'yo kasi na-acquire mo na. So, practically, you're just increasing your chances uh, to succeed at, uh, at any given opportunity, di ba? Correct. So, di ba, ang naging challenge kasi nung unang-una, I was only 21 at that time. So, yung isura ko, batang-bata na uh, parang, una, bakit mo ko pagkakatiwalaan? Hindi <laughs> na ba itong kausap ko? <laughs> Para, parehasan naman tayo ng challenge. Kasi, di ba, speaker ako, sa anong sasabihin oh, niyo? Oo, yan. <laughs> Mga managers tayo, mga leaders tayo, ang laki ng organization natin, right. multinational. Ilang taon yan? 26 years old? 27? Ano ang speech ang sasabihin mo? Okay, so um, practically yung age played a, a vital role uh, dun, sa, dun sa initial stages. So ano yung strategy to convince them na, hey, I, should, I have something of value? Well, uh, if you know the movie, The Wolf of Wall Street. I heard. <laughs> Never yeah, one. Yeah. <laughs> Leonardo DiCaprio yung gumanap nun. Around 2013, it was a blessing in disguise. Bumili ba ko yung pinortray niyang Rosie Jordan Belfort? So, inaral ko, and then, sabi ko, paano ko kaya mabili yung program nito so that I can be a very professional salesperson and I can go to the, through my clients subliminally. So, sabi, na-realize ko, meron pala siyang program na binibenta. But at that time, it was very costly, around close to 300,000. So, pikit mata, binayaran ko yung training na yon, and then, inaral ko siya maigi. Nung naaral ko yung training na yon, na-realize ko, I, was, I, became, I became more confident to close deals, and even, I was able to meet people with, with, with very huge network, and using that, using that, using that skill of, of selling, I was able to close deals I have never imagined in my life. So, oh. bigyan na lang na lang nare-realize after ng sale na close na, basta pala yung focus ko. Oh, ito yung ano, no? Ito yung movie na, ano ba yan? Yep, siya ba yung nakakapagbenta ng ball pet or something? Ito yes. Ito ba yung movie? Yes. You send me a pen. Yung sabi nyo na. Oh, yun. Yeah. part. Okay. So, bro, naging like, obsessed ako nun eh. Sa oh. pag-aaral ng kay Jordan Belford na strategy. Uh, and then there uh, nung nag, nag start na yun and you saw the strategy working uh, yun na yung uh, mainly ginamit mo when, when you were starting hanggang sa 
hanggang sa lumaki na. Yeah, yun. And then, nag-aral pa ako sa ibang mga speakers. Kumatend ako ng speakers in Stolgate by Tony Robbins. Kumatend ako, I'm, I'm, I'm checking out how do these people whose programs are so expensive, but how can they sell it to crowds like that? So, I did the same pattern in my business so that my clients will be able to realize my value rather than the price. Oh, wow. And why do they need foreign language as a key to make themselves globally competitive in whatever time, whatever times that are happening. Diba sabi nga ni Jim Rohn, don't worry about the season, don't worry about the future. The only way to future for yourself is to keep on learning and keep on learning. Kaya masyado akong patron, patron ng high-level skills. Kasi so, mag-aaral so, ka na lang ng skills, dapat yung mamahali na. So pati yung mentor na si Jim Rohn, paras din tayo. Yeah, sure. Oh, I don't know. Hindi, ang pangalan ng asawa, uh, birthday, and then para sa akin, Jim Rohn, mga pinapakinggan, sila, sila Tony Robbins. <laughs> My goodness, how possible could it be? All right, paano kumikita? Magkano ang kumikita? At ano ang mga opportunities uh, dito sa dito sa sa sa, sa language sasagutin mo yan kapag ka bumalik na ang the big picture so magko-commercial muna ako wag kayo nga alis Marvin Weng hello Franny Alian Barcelona hello uh, Eileen Romina nakita ko din dito kanina sino pa nandito kanina <laughs> Sir JV Calieja okay yung okay yung alis ha dahil uh, magbabalik din uli ang the big picture so stay tuned diyan lamang kayo ha walang alis walang iwanan to everyone okay Every day. We need power every day. Are you ready? Ready? Yes. Beauty is power. You can start again. We know about your struggle. But you're not alone. We are live on your stream to help you start again. The new channel. See the new. All right, welcome back. You're still watching the big picture on the new channel. With me is uh, Ezekiel Del Rio. Siya po ang may-ari na Kunuzur World Language uh, Institute. Ayan, Franny Marina is watching from Dubai. Oh, kumusta ang mga tao dyan sa Dubai? Feeling ko, okay lang ba kayo dyan? Nandiyan ang kapatid ko. <laughs> so, Franny, kumusta? Anong, anong lagay dyan sa, sa Dubai? Mag-comment naman kayo, uh, pinapasabi ni Alian Barcelona na kumusta daw. Congratulations daw uh, sa ating guest ngayon. Again, Gabriel Billy Dominguez ay napadaan sa ating stream. <laughs> At siya po ay magi-guest uh, sa ating season 3 opening ng The Big Picture. So ano yan, jump pack yan kasi lima po sila galing sa BNI. Makati Genesis and GN is watching and po ang ating uh, uh, 30 under 30 uh, Forge Magazine nasa listahan po si Gian Scotty Havelona. Elmar is also watching. Hi, how are you brother? I miss you. Uh, hindi, tagal natin hindi na nakikita ha. Okay. Anyway, sige. So ibabalik ko ang ating uh, napakalaking big time, napakalaki at uh, big time, big time, big time na guest, uh, Ezekiel Kiel uh, del Rio. Hi. Okay. Um, Congrats daw sabi ni Alian uh, sa oh, sa'yo. Hi, thank you Ian. Oh, good. So bago tayo mag-break, uh, we were talking about the opportunities. Mag, uh, prior to the break, we were talking about the opportunities. Magkano ba kinikita dito at paano ba na explore opportunities sa language? Uh, pero bago mo sagutin yan, ilang, ilang language ang alam mong isalita? Tama ba yung Tagalog ko? <laughs> How many language can you speak? Okay. Uh, so what I'm from is French. Yeah. You prepare me say, I can speak French. So that's the first language that I mastered. And then Mandarin is currently still under construction. 
So yeah, the learning Mandarin at the moment. I I like that uh, under construction thing. Okay, so uh, yeah, a bit of uh, an example of uh, French. Yung common lang ah, sige. So ako ang sasabihin ko sa sa English, mas madali ba yun from English to French or Tagalog and then French? Hello? Uh, mas mabilis bang i-translate yung from Tagalog? Magsasabi ako ng mga Tagalog Hello? phrases or uh, can, you, can you hear? Can you hear me? Uh, I, I'm still here, so if you can hear me, say I. Ah, naglalag lang. I, I, yeah, yeah. Okay, I, I, okay. Tony Robbins. <laughs> you recognize that talaga Tony Robbins. If you like, uh, say yeah. I, yeah, okay, good. So uh, you can hear me now, clearly. Uh, okay, clearly. Okay, Ma, is it easier to translate from from uh, Filipino Tagalog to French or English to French? I'm going to say some some sentences English, and you can say. Hey. Okay, English. Like, there are some other words that are there, there's no direct translation to English. Okay, good. So English to uh, English to French. Mga nanonood sa atin ngayon sa ating stream, please kung meron kayong gusto ipa-translate ngayon, ilagay niyo sa comment, pabasahin natin tapos ipapa-translate ko kay Guy Kiel. Okay. So Lloyd Duna is a very handsome person. Ah, uh, Lloyd Duna is a <laughs> Totoo ba 'yon? Bakit parang pinutol mo? <laughs> Lloyd Luna at Crane Crane Book. I'll just speak slowly. Oh, hi to my sister there. So, sister. Yeah. So, Lloyd Luna is Crane Book. So, Lloyd Luna is a Crane very book is handsome. <laughs> okay. Uh, brother, pagkakatiwalaan kita Hello. sa translation mo na 'yan, ha. Kasi sa, sa, sa French, Belle is beautiful. Diba? Kaya nga siya, diba sa Beauty and the Beast, Belle. Kaya Belle yung pangalan niya, beautiful. Pag lalaki naman, B-E-A-U. -E oh. Oo, oh, kala ko Beast. So, buo. <laughs> Papagkatiwalaan kita Hello? sa translation mo, doon sa pinatranslate ko sa sa'yo, ha? <laughs> Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, ha? Pagkakatiwalaan yeah, kita... Course. Ipo-post ko yan, baka mamaya yun kabaliktaran na wala, wala, wala mo kalaban lang. Yeah, 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 of course. Okay, okay. Uh, hello, Arlene. Hello. Uy, si Starmat na, diba? Si, si Rizabel. Nasa Dubai ba siya? Hello? Oo. Diba si, si uh, Rizabel? Hello, si Starmat, nasa Dubai siya. Oo, oh, nawawala, wala ang internet connection natin. Yeah, she's here. Oh, nasa, nasa Dubai siya. Si sister. Hello. <laughs> ano pang ginagawa niya sa Dubai? Ba't hindi pa bumabalik dito sa Pilipinas? Hmm? Sorry, hello? Hello? Uh -oh. Can you hear me? Or naglalag? Oo, sige. Oh, sige. Anyway, sige. So, ibabalik natin mamaya si, si Kiel sa, sa studio. Uh, medyo nagkakaroon lang tayo ng difficulties sa internet connection. Kung kayo po may mga tanong at may mga reaction, edi uh, pakipusan lang po dito sa ating dito sa ating stream. <laughs> opportunities in language. Mas marami kang language na alam, mas marami kang opportunities. Yan yung sinabi sa akin ng mentor ko more than 15 years ago. Sige, uh, Owi, papatranslate natin yan. Let's all watch the new channel. Sige, mamaya, papatranslate natin. Mas marami kang lingwaheng alam, mas marami kang opportunity. So if you are going to enroll yourself trying to learn a new language and then bagong opportunity yon. Now, once na malaman mo na at na alam mo na kung paano magsalita, hindi na mababawi sa iyo yan. So ang sabi kanina ni Kiel, mas naging maganda yung business nila nang ganito kasi ikaw yung, hindi, ikaw yung possible na hindi mo wala ng trabaho. Now remember the headline kanina, uh, 7.3 million katao na po yung nawawala ng trabaho. Ngayon, yung sinasabi niya kanina na yung marunong mag-translate, ah, yung maraming alam na lengguahe, eh, mukhang kayo yung uh, kailangan-kailangan, special din ngayon, kung baga parang hindi kayo mawawalan kung yun ang skill na meron kayo. Ah, si sister, uh, si sister mo pala ay flight attendant sa Emirates, so... <laughs> so yun, hindi pa siya makauwi 
Hi, Mick Mick. Oo, ang masaya, masaya dyan. Nasaan ka nanonood? <laughs> Sabi ni Sir Billy Dominguez, BNI din yata. Para siya yata kayong BNI, Sir Billy, no? Sa kakiel. <laughs> Ibebenta mo raw ako. Alo, 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 alo. <laughs> Alian Barcelona, uh, uh, forecast will reach 10 million who will eventually lose their jobs. My goodness. Kung kayo ay nag-enroll ka agad sa Kunazur World Language Institute, eh di sana marunong kayo ng mga language. Kakatok lang daw po kayo sa mga pintuan ng mga call centers and uh, it's possible, it's possible na may trabaho na kayo right on the spot. Whether or not graduate kayo o hindi. Whether or not 32 kayo, 42 or 18 years old. So it doesn't really matter, matter kung alam mo yung, yung, uh, yung magsalita ng ibang language or mag-translate. Ay, nako talaga. Negosyo-negosyo to. Sige, so uh, babalikan na natin. Natin na natin kung uh, maganda na yung connection ni uh, uh, Brother Ezekiel Del Rio. Conazur. Uh, in the way, Conazur World Language Institute. <laughs> na ano ko ba? Nabang, nabanggit ko ba ng tama? Did I, did I make justice dun sa pangalan ng business. <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah, for the Sur World Language Institute. So the yeah. reason why I chose that word kasi means you're a master of something. Ah! Is that it? Yun yung talagang kahulugan niya. Yeah, for the Sur kasi is my favorite word when I was in grade school. Ah, okay. Ako kasi so yung that's favorite the reason why I chose that word for the company. Yeah, kasi when I was... Uh, in elementary, ang pabrito ko namang word in school ay uh, recess. Uh, also, <laughs> ang, ang pabrito ko word yes. ay recess. Recess. Hello? <laughs> nawawala ulit? Oo, nawawala. Can you hear me? Hindi pa. Or no? Ah, recess. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. nung, nung ano, nung, nung high school ako, medyo nagustuhan ko rin yung word na yan. Actually, hindi lang recess pati lunch. Kasi yung lunch was mahaba. Yung recess pa ikli lang. At sa bagay, 15 minutes. Yes, I can hear you. <laughs> yes, okay, good. Okay, good. So medyo may ano, naglalag lang siguro ng konti. So what, are, what I'm going to do is, ibigay uh, yeah, ka ng time para maka-respond maka ka. Can you hear me? Uh, I can hear you clearly. Hello? So, yes, Hello? I can hear you clearly. Can you hear Hello? me? Oh, yun, hindi. Anyway, can you connect again? Or, and paki-disconnect na rin di siguro iba pang mga... Sige. So, mamaya, ibabalik natin si, ano, ibabalik natin si, uh, si Kiel, kasi may challenge na talaga sa connection. Internet connection. Yun ang ating problema ngayon dito. Hello, Fats! Yun yung challenge ngayon, ano, uh, yung internet connection. Uh, I think we need to shape up. Kailangan mag-level up ang ating mga telcos, ha? Pero maganda naman yung balita kasi I thought Globe nag-umpisa pa rin or nag-start na rin maglatag ng 5G. Okay, sino yung dumaan sa likod? <laughs> May batang dumaan sa likod. <laughs> Okay, opportunity sa language. I-try natin uling ibalik si Kiel at tingnan natin kung maganda na yung connection. Uh, hopefully maganda na dahil uh, maganda yung topic natin ngayon eh. Di ba? Okay. Uh, Kiel, are you there? Ah, blank screen. Ay, dito sa kamila. <laughs> blank screen. Sige, tatry natin yung link connect ha. I-reconnect natin. Oo, yan. Papasok siya uli. So try natin papasok yun uli. Oo nga, ah... Uh, Ano na ang palayo mo, Maria Rizabel Del Rio? Meron kang palayo eh, kasi when you went to, to our office, uh, ano nga ba? Maris! Maris! Oo, Maris ang, pang, ang palayo mo. Ano yan, naalala ko na. Maris. Maria Rizabel Del Rio is Maris. Okay. Paano naman kami pupunta dyan? Uh, meron mang complimentary seat dyan sa, ano, sa, sa Emirates. Oh, <laughs> kasi na doble yata yung pamasahe. Hindi ko ma... Diba? At na-double kasi yung social distancing. Kung meron kang complimentary ticket, pupunta kami ni Pucholo dyan. Sige, sabay kami. <laughs> Magpupunta kami dyan. Okay, ito yung ating ibalik si Kiel. Kiel, can you hear me now? Cloud and clear. Yes, hi, I can hear you. Okay. Yes. Thank okay. you, Lord, for waiting and for the audience for understanding the challenges when it comes to our internet connection here in our country. 
Oo nga naman, o talaga naman, challenge naman talaga lahat. But anyway, better na yung connection mo. Uh, so, pwede na tayo siguro mag-discuss ulit. May delay lang ng konti, no? Siguro kung mayroon ka pang mga naka-open na application uh, at nakakonek sa internet ng mga device, makakatulong siguro kung magbabawas sa yung device. Okay, so sabi ni Maris, uh, magpunta ako ng Dubai. Sabay na tayo siguro. <laughs> sabay na tayo. Sabay na kami ni kapatid mo at saka ni Pucholo. Oo. Uh, tapos si Franny daw ay magand- maganda raw ang topic today. So, ilalagay ko yung comment para makita mo. Um... Magandang topic today, pwede mapakinabangan ng mga OFWs, especially yung mga Arabic speakers. Nag-offer ba kayo ng Arabic? Hindi pa. Yeah, we have actually Arabic language translation. The, the only thing is, it's very, very rare. Compared hmm. to Mandarin, French, Spanish, Nihongo, and Korean. Oh, so, so sige. Sir, Bumali, is here. Oo oh, nga, nandiyan eh. Sabi nyo, may big five kasi siyang papasabog sa Monday. Lima sila sa isang show. So, can you imagine pupunin niya yung studio natin? Ibang klase talaga. Really. Ibang klase talaga. Anyway, so, Franny, umuwi ka na dito tapos mag-aral ka ng language dito sa Konozur dahil uh, sigurado naman yun, di ba? Meron bang, meron bang nag-aral ng language na nawala ng trabaho? I mean, yung hindi siya talaga nakakita at naghirap siya? Well, actually, if you just study the language just for fun and you only study it on a basic level, well, wala mangyayari talaga. You need to study the language at least on a level of 7 out of 10 so that you can find the right employment opportunity. So like, for example, an employer will not hire someone who only knows a ba- basic, basic, diba? So mm-hmm. that, but you must know at least, that. I mean, e- even in the marketplace, the, rewar- the, the marketplace does not reward mediocrity. So you either be beyond average or even excellent, diba? So, uh-huh. ganun dapat yung level na maatay na isang foreign language speaker. So, that's the reason why we always say, at least you must attain an advanced le- intermediate level to a connoisseur level. Connoisseur level is the expert level that we are saying. Okay, so yun na yung, yun na yung synonym ngayon ng expert. Connoisseur. Yeah, connoisseur. Di ba, <laughs> connoisseur yung pag uminom ka ng alak, alam mo kung ano yung edad, alam mo kung anong cask nilagay yan, uh-huh. ano mo alam kung ang klaseng ubas ginamit yan. Just by even inhaling or sipping it. So mm-hmm. that's the reason why we named Kunusur after that. From the Cast of Amontillado of Edgar Allan Poe. Oh, wow. Poetic din, no? May, may, may kinalaman sa, ano, sa poetry. But anyway, so, uh, gaano nakukuha, gaano kabilis makuha yung uh, above average? Okay. If we are talking about European languages, so European Romantic languages, such, such as Spanish, French, Italian, Portuguese, kaya namin yan in four to six months. Four to six alating months? Only, yeah, alating only at least eight hours per week. Eight hours per week? Oh, so, madi-divide pa yun per day, no? Yeah, at least four hours per day. Three to four hours per day. So, that will be at least two to three sessions per week. Wow. Okay, good. And then, uh, almost ready ka na nun, ha? Kapag ka natapos mo yung... Uh, yeah, actually, import. you're employ- employable now for, with that skill. And then, ang pinagkaiba kasi namin, after taking a foreign language with us, you need to certify yourself with a foreign language proficiency. Diba? How can we say we are really... Like, for example, accountant, accountancy, ang, kung, accountancy ang course mo. How can you really say that you are really a professional accountant? You must pass the CPA board exam. So, the same thing with the foreign language industry. You need to certify your foreign language and this certification must be honored all over the globe. Like, for example, if someone will challenge me, Monsieur Ezekiel, pourquoi vous pouvez parler français? Why do you say you can speak French? Have, est-ce que vous avez une certification? So, if someone will challenge me, I will say, oui, j'ai passé l'examen test d'évaluation du français. If someone will challenge me, I will say, yes, I have passed an exam called test d'évaluation du français, which evaluates my test, pro- my French language proficiency, and this is checked in Paris, France. So, I'm almost as equivalent as a native speaker, and this certification is honored all over the globe. So, the rest of the students, we should take the exam. So, when you come to BPO, the HR, you don't have to interview him. It even saves the time of the HR. Because yeah, you're credentialed. Maybe you don't have to interview him, because maybe he's French if he's not able to do French. Yeah, actually, marami sa dyante namin na wiwin dang sa mga salary na ino-offer sa kanila. Dati, like for example, as a nurse, dumaan ako sa point, kaya lagi ko sinasabi, mag-aaral ka na lang ng skill, dapat mamahali na. I have huge respect to, uh, for 
to our to our to my fellow nor fellow nurses. The only thing is dahil nagkaroon ng oversupply noong 2011 kaya hindi ako nagpunta sa nursing. Bumaba yung value ng nursing sobra that even it comes to a point na hindi na zero yung salary nila. Negative pa. Why do I say negative? Kami pa ang nagbabayad sa employer para lang pumasok kami. So sabi ko, bakit ako papasok sa ganong profession? <laughs> diba? Yeah. I'm just very practical. Money is very important. It's money is my, might not be the most important thing in life, but it's very essential. You cannot say, I love you to Miralco to pay your bills. You need you need the money to pay for that. So, diba? <laughs> and <laughs> hindi, hindi ako makakapag-date niyan kapag lagi na lang ako manghihingi sa daddy ko. So that's the reason why I decided to went into enter, to uh, to go to entrepreneurship. Mm -mm, uh -oh. Because uh, at that point, yung profession na kung saan akong anong kung saan ako graduate na profession has currently no market value at that time. So nung na-realize ko na mag-aaral lang pala ako ng isang skill, six figure na. Eh, mm -hmm. sabi ko nga buti na lang hindi ko nalaman yan nung high school ako kasi baka 18 years old pa lang <laughs> nagkatrabaho na ako. <laughs> hindi ka na magka-college for sure. <laughs> hindi ka na magka-college. <laughs> it, 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 it's good kasi nga, dun sa, dun sa six months na eight hours per week at least, uh, nakuha mo na kaagad yun. And we're talking about, again, hindi natin binibili to or minamalit naman yung ibang courses. For sure, may mga functions sila. But if this is of something course. that you're interested yeah. naman talaga uh, of learning about, and then uh, maganda rin tong ruta na to. In fact, kahit naman saan ka mapuntang uh, profession, di ba? I mean, Correct. But ano profession mo? Language is universal. So, di ba, magagamit mo pa din. In fact, advantage yeah. mo yun kung uh, multi-language ka nga. Oh, sorry. Multi-language ka daw doon? Multilingual. Multilingual. Okay. Good. Correct. Actually, tama ka doon. You know what? Meron ako mayor ng isang province. Nag-aral sa akin ng Mandarin. Why? Kasi meron siyang malaking kontrata with the Chinese. Meron ako dalawang doktor sa St. Luke's. Nag-aral kasi marami silang Chinese na kliyente. Meron din akong accounting student, kasi hawak kong de la sal, di ba? So meron akong accounting student na ang first offer sa kanya, kahit hindi pa siya pumapasa ng board, is a whopping 85,000 the day after her graduation. Dahil meron siyang isa pa alam na language. Yes, kasi nagkataon, ay, meron din akong linkages sa mga companies. Kasi mm -hmm. meron akong nilaunch na end to end program. I know Ian Ian even supported me at that time that I'm very grateful for with him for him. So, nagkaroon ako ng job fair sa Lipa and then pinapunta ko lahat ng BPO. Kasi mm -hmm. nag namahagi ako ng flyer sa Lipa that time and then sabi ni Mayor, ano tong binebenta mo? Networking, scam ba to? Ganito kalaki <laughs> sa sweldo. <laughs> <laughs> Wala naman sweldo sa networking, sabi may mayor naman, mga Wala naman. Sa Kaya so, alam alam mo naman minsan ang tingin ng mga kapwa Pilipino natin diyan. Pero actually, oh, networking industry is very good. Diyan hmm. din ako nagsimula when I was 20 years old. It's anyway, a good, it's a good training, so, diba? I mean, training, uh, training, parang training ground ang ang networking. I mean, hindi naman syempre lahat ba. Pero yung the way you communicate, the way you pitch uh, something, diba? The way you uh, 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 deal with people. So, okay din naman niya. So, anong, anong reaction? Yes, course, after the job fair? So, uh, after the job fair? So, doon, na-realize sa mga tagalip ha, kasi pinagtinawag ko lahat ng HR sa harap, sa harap eh, sa stage. So, lahat, you know, sabi ko, sabihin nyo lahat, magkanong offer nyo if they can speak a foreign language. Sabi nila, anyone here who can speak pa Spanish, sign up bonus, 120,000. Bukod Good. ko yung salary. Bakit so, hindi lahat? mo pininvite dyan? Seriously. Ah, at that time kasi si I'm I'm collaborating something with Ian at that time. <laughs> hindi. So, apply ako. Hindi ako magsasalita, mag-apply ako. Hindi <laughs> mo na kailangan 'yun. Sobra-sobra na 'yung income mo. Okay, sabi ni John Francis uh, Abelgas, uh, bagay na bagay daw, tour guide of the Philippines. Si uh, John ay may-ari ng uh, ng travel travel agency. Travel agency, pero nasa travel business siya. So, hmm. maganda nga daw itong opportunity na ito. Uh, we're talking about uh, language nga. Okay, good. So, uh, final segment. Pagbalik ko sa'yo, uh, let's talk about the uh, the shift uh, in the way we're conducting business now. Ngayon, uh, mayroon na okay. tayong tinatawag sure. na bagong normal. And uh, how you intend to succeed in this particular space. Uh, especially, uh, I think, kung masasabi ko, this is one of the winners dun sa bagong normal. I mean, almost immediately, uh, panalo ka kung, uh, kung ito yung uh, skill na alam mo at na-master mo or probably pag-aaralan mo. 
So babalik magbabalik po ang uh, the big picture on the new channel. Diyan lamang po kayo. Thank you, Lloyd. We rise as one. Leave the pain behind. For the future is bright. Know that we are here to help you rise again. The new channel. See the new. Welcome back. You're still watching the big picture on the new channel. With me is uh, Kel uh, Del Rio from Kanazu World Language Institute. So, batin mo natin si Catherine. Nice one daw. Siguro nice one yung discussion. Maraming salamat sa mga nanonood. Pwede nyo pa pong i-share yung ating uh, live stream ngayon para marami ding maka makarinig at uh, marami ring matuto ngayon dahil itong final segment natin talagang... Uh, Magiging inter magiging maganda ito. Ayoko na sabi interesting. Ah, nasa na ba? Kailang interesting na ba ako ngayong araw na to? <laughs> yung kasi yung word ko, eh, last time walo and then naging anim na. Hindi ko alam kung ilang interesting na yung nasasabi ko ngayon. But uh, ibabalik, para hindi pa makapagsabi ng interesting. So ibabalik ko na si Kiel. Uh, <laughs> baka sakaling masave niya ako. Ano ang 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 French sa interesting? Ang Terre Song. Ang Terre Song. Okay, I-N-T-E-R-R-E-S-A-N-T -E -E Okay, sing. balik ako sa interesting actually, Yeah, actually maraming words na ing Ang English kasi at French Galing yan sa Latin Maraming words sa French na Kapareho ng spelling sa English Magkaiba ng pronunciation Like for example, excellent Excellent oh. Same spelling, oh. excellent Yung sound, no? Yung sound na babago Expression, expression Oo, oh, oo oh. oh. Okay, good. Okay, sige. So, yung shift, pag-usapan natin yung shift. Kasi, uh, di ba nasa uh, old normal, you were in the the classroom, and then may mga students, and then they, they teach yeah. physical to, di ba? And now, meron tayong yeah. tayo social distancing and things like that. Uh, how do you yeah. see the shift in the way we uh, educate uh, our clients? Actually, Medyo challenging to sa mga kliyente ko. Sa amin, hindi masyado. Why did I say this? Kasi ito, na-anticipate ko na na posible talaga mangyari ito. Di ba, mat madalas pinag-uusapan tong artificial intelligence, online platform. Even three, four years or even five years ago, sabi nila, kapag ang business mo wala sa online, you will be out of business soon. So, matagal ko na siyang na-anticipate. So, even three years ago, I made an online platform for Konosur World Language Institute. So we have these pre-recorded programs that our clients can access so that they don't need to pay the per hour cost of our teachers. Now, dun sa mga client naman na may budget, meron tayong live Zoom or Messenger class. Meron one-on-one, one-on-two, -on -one, one -on and then up to one-on-six. One-to-six students. Hmm. So... Meron tayong live class na the only thing is they need to pay our teacher on a per hour basis. And mind you, medyo expensive talaga yung mga programs namin when it comes to one-on-one. -on -one. Kasi dalawa lang pwede mong kuning teacher. Hindi magaling o magaling. And I need to make sure our brand is very <laughs> good. And Grabe. Hindi, um, stream viewers natin na hindi na kayo malilito doon. Ang ino-offer nila, <laughs> mamimili ka sa <laughs> mamimili ka lang sa dalawa at wala yung isa doon sa pamimilian, wala sa connoisseur. So, <laughs> wala kayo ibang choice kundi magkano more or less ano yung range na kailangang ibayad for uh, for a 6 month uh, one on one or one on two. Yung range pag sabi well, natin. Well, actually, ganito 'yan. Meron kaming yung sa Mandarin na lang. Let's say you want to be totally proficient with Mandarin. Yung iba na mga kliyente na gusto ma-attain 'yon, but they only, they have a certain 
they have a ceiling when it comes to their budget, they can go to the they can go towards our pre-recorded programs kasi ang maganda naman sa pre-recorded. Let's say for example, yung ituturo din naman sa yo na pang buong semester or pang pang buong 6 months, ni-record na namin lahat, kinompak na namin so that you can access the program 24/7 anytime anywhere. Now, some clients are still not comfortable with that because they want real-time real interaction. So if you want the real-time interaction with our teacher, the minimum budget must be at least 1,500 per hour minimum to as much as 2,500 per hour depende sa quality or sa level ng teacher, sa level ng seniority ng teacher. So meron mm -hmm. kami mga teachers na from 1,500 to up to 2,500 per hour. We even have a Russian that time it reaches up to 4,000 per hour. Ay, good naman yan. So, you can use the language. Yeah, I mean, pero ang ROI naman nga, nasabi mo kanina, is madali. I mean, mabilis lang. Mabilis ka lang makakakumpo. When it comes to the business side, the business is really very, very profitable. And it's actually a win-win situation kasi the employee is earning very well, then the company is also earning very well. The only thing is, the client just needed to understand that you are investing on a great value of Korean language. If you, like, this is what I always say to my clients. If you care about your dreams, work together with us. If you don't care about your dreams, work with, work with my competitors. That's what I always say. Because I care about your dreams as much as I do. Yeah, for sure. And uh, uh, I'm sure genuine naman yan kasi doon ka talaga nag-start. And I mean, be an entrepreneur, yeah. alam natin lahat that this is not all about money. Uh, this is uh, the value that we can bring to the marketplace. Jim Rohn, boom. Correct. Tama yun. <laughs> kasi gusto kong matulog na nabago ko yung buhay mo at instead na murahin mo ako, nagalit ka sa programs ko, nagpasalamat ka kasi nabago ko yung buhay mo. That's the reason why we always make sure that our programs are of highest standard. The only thing is, parang Louis Vuitton, they need to match it with the right price. Yeah, so it's, it's practically a, a fair exchange of value lang naman, di ba? Uh, if, if you need yeah. quality, you have to pay. I mean, people should pay for quality. Uh, sabi nga, di ba, sa, bakit, bakit 60,000, 70,000 ng isang MacBook Air, di ba? Eh, di sige, kasi hindi, namin magagawa ito ng hindi 70,000, di ba? Uh, uh, find something else. Correct. Hindi yun, yun, hindi yun yung presyo. Okay. Uh, Mamurly, hello. Good evening, uh, Sir John. Pakonect daw. Hindi ko lang kung pakonect. Uh, Josh from Tarlac. Uh, Joy Tala, hello. How are you? Uh, Catherine, how are you? Okay. Uh, Mag-comment lang po kayo, saka mag-like mag lang kayo dyan, saka magbigay ng mga reaction dyan sa ating stream kung kailangan ninyo or kung meron kayong gustong ipaabot. But uh, how do you see it now? I mean, uh, meron ka bang nakikita na, uh, kasi nga wala na physical uh, schooling, uh, meron naman kayong ino-offer na, na pwede lang i-access uh, online kung hindi sila confident, one-on-one -on -one Zoom. Pero paano yung oh. physical structure uh, when it comes to uh, your business? Ano na ang mangyayari doon sa mga classrooms mo? Actually, uh, yung office naman kasi namin is just for pure operational purposes. Yung classrooms talaga namin happen inside the premises of our clients. For example, di ba? Like, for example, De La Salle, they're our clients. So, nangy doon nangyayari yun sa classroom nila. Now, matagal ko na rin sinasabi to sa mga clients ko that actually, online is a very powerful way to learn. Kasi sa China na lang, Korea, yung pinoprovide namin ng online language training for almost three years, we have been getting great feedbacks from our clients there. So, natutu nakita namin natututo talaga sa jante namin and hindi magre-renew ang kliyente namin doon. And they will not even be pay they will not be paying us as much as 3,000 every 25 minutes if we are not doing very well when it comes to that. So, yung, yung live training when it comes to foreign language is really, really beneficial. And then, meron kaming nilo-launch. Actually, I cannot say too much about this. Imagine someone who can teach you 24-7, anytime, anywhere, and you can interact with this, na itong certain thing na to, sobrang haba ng pasensya. And this is what we call the era of artificial intelligence. Imagine Ooh. having someone there inside your house or someone beside you teaching you foreign language nonstop. And then no. this, this AI also can teach you jargons that are okay. specialized only on your industry. Oy, Kel, not all hindi, teachers can do that. 
hindi marunong magalit ang AI mo yun na yan, ha? Pasensyoso oh, yan. Sure. Oo. Uh, the, vo- the, the voice that we have chosen is a female voice na malambing yung boses. Kaya hindi, hindi ano yun. <laughs> Baka naman makatulog ako, Ken. <laughs> ah, hindi naman. Uh, hindi yun, naman. Actually, we have chosen the AI as a teacher assistant. Not to replace our teachers, but rather to work together with our teachers. Di ba sabi namin, you can learn the foreign language in six months? With the help mm-hmm. of an AI, we can you we we are looking forward na to reduce as much as three months na lang. Kasi meron so, ka na kadaldalan eh. Yeah, and and besides, uh, ina-analyze na rin ng AI yung mismong uh, uh, parang level ng conversation niya. Nag-adjust yung AI base doon sa sa facing ng pagkatuto ng uh, client? Yes, actually, yun ang maganda din dito. It's very personalized. Uh, it assesses your strengths and weaknesses and you only need to buy one per family. Okay, one per family. Okay, sige. Yeah, unless you want to use, if you want to use it together, that's the time you just need to buy each for each. Uh-uh. Oh, good. Oh, okay. okay. Ilito naman yung teacher eh. And para siyang Netflix, meron siyang mode na who's using it? Is it Lloyd, your wife Beth, or your daughter? So oh, para, para personalized na no? dun sa facing mo or dun sa naaral mo na Uh, kasi magkakaiba kayo ng account doon sa isang AI. O, oh, nangihingi na si Dex Makalintal. Kilala mo ba ito? Pengihinga ko ng AI na Yes, yan. of course. Yeah. It's my cousin. <laughs> nangihingi. <laughs> uh, Gina, good evening na po. Thanks sa inyo. Daming napupulot na aral dito. Watching from Las Piña City. And si Peter uh, Daradal is from North North Pine Land. So, kumasa kayo sa North Pine. Ah, hindi na tayo makapag-motivational speech dyan. Kasi nga, wala, wala na social gathering eh. Oo, nawala na tayo ng negosyo dyan. Anyway, sige. So, uh, according to uh, Big 7 Travels 50... Uh, ano yan? Travels 56 Sexiest Accents in the World? Ano sabi? Filipino is hailed as sexiest hmm? accent in Asia. True or false? Kiel? Hmm? Yeah. Uh, sorry. Filipino is hailed as uh, sexiest accent in Asia. Yeah, actually, because Filipinos are very versatile mm-hmm. when it comes to doing different accents, either for either with the English language or in the other languages. Ano no interest? Interesting, shucks, naman no nine natuloy. Anyway, fascinating. <laughs> Kasi ang yeah, mga Filipino very fast na magadapt na no? pati yung tono. Napansin mo uh, mm-hmm. when we are talking with an Indian, for example, after mga 10 minutes lang ang accent mo Indian na. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Nag- very adapt- hot. Oh, di ba? As in, di ba? Mabibig. I'm very happy. <laughs> okay, hello, Sir Jesse. Maraming salamat sa, sa, sa pagtutok. Okay, so last question. Um, bago kita pakawalan at bago maibigay yung mga details na kailangan lang puntahan kung interested sila dito sa, sa business mo, if they want to enroll, this is actually a perfect time to enroll. Uh, pwede na ba mag-enroll yung aking uh, six-year-old? Yes, actually, we have the pre-recorded platform if your daughter wants that. So, the pre-recorded platform is much cheaper because again you don't need to pay the per per hour and then the whole mm-hmm. family can even access it so as low as 5000 and if you want to hold, get the whole program you can get it instead of 80000 you can, you get as much as 30000 na lang okay the whole Ma'am. program na if you study the whole program in less than 2 to 3 months you will become proficient in mandarin okay. and even pass the proficiency exam uh, and safe pa yon kasi social distancing ka <laughs> do sa magtuturo yes, sa yo actually you, The, yeah, the challenge lang talaga sa ngayon is yung kliyente ko. Kasi ang kliyente ko, ang challenge sa kanila, di ba, yung mga estudyante natin sa schools, hindi naman lahat may access pa ngayon sa internet. Hindi lahat may sariling laptop. And Oy, then, the another... Yeah? Alam mo, nagkaroon yes. ako ng idea. Bakit hindi ka magawa ng show dito sa TNC about language? Di ba, Producer Apple, mag-agree ka nga. Ngayon ko lang naisip ito uh, kasi pwede okay. pwede siya maging learning platform if you want to target nga. Uh, yung uh, yung client mo. But anyway, pag-usapan natin backstage yan. Okay, so uh, okay. before I let you go, my question, normally kapag ka, uh, natatapos, bago matapos yung show sa, sa guest ko, is, so, sa lahat ng nangyayari ngayon, people are still anxious, some people are still disoriented, some people are, are afraid kasi baka mawalan silang trabaho, uh, things like that. So, what's the big picture? Ano ang, the, out of this pandemic uh, crisis situation, ano yung big picture na nakikita mo na possibly hindi nakikita ng iba as an entrepreneur? Okay. So, number one, we need to change our lens so that we can have a different perspective on what's happening. 
then we need to manage more ourselves, our emotions, sa mga nangyayari. Kasi ako, kahit personally, nitong mga nakaraang araw, it's also a big challenge on our part. Kasi ako, as a company, yung company namin, matagal na kami nag-adapt sa ganitong pangyayari. But the, what's not adapt? I mean, our clients are the one who's in the process of adapting pa lang. So, yun yung nagiging challenge din sa amin. So, we are looking forward not on the upcoming months, makapag-adapt na yung kliyente namin sa new normal para mag-meet halfway na kami. So, the big picture here is keep on, keep on learning high-level skills. Like, for example, aside from foreign language, I also know how to do forex. So, at least, sa mga bakanting oras natin, wag nating sayangin yung oras na nanonood lang ng Netflix or kung ano-anong ginagawa. Read as much as books as we can. Be voracious when it comes to learning. At least one skill a day or a week, one high-level skill for in a week will be very, very good because you don't know when will you able to use it. So that's the big picture here. We need to anticipate the worst thing and prepare for the worst thing mentally so that in case this really happens, kaya natin address And then instead of, instead of contracting, let's find a way to expand for ourselves further by asking ourselves, like for example, kung ito talaga yung pangarap natin, huwag natin i-downsize para lang mag-match, mag-match at maabot natin. At least make, our, make your dreams still as big as like that and continue asking ourselves before we sleep, give ourselves a subconscious command like, how can I still achieve this despite what's happening? So that at the end of the day, the solution, the solution will arrive. Mm-hmm. Good. Wow. That's yeah, a motivational so keep forward. That's a motivational speech right there, Kel. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Di ba motivational speech na yun? Okay, so how do they get get in touch with you? Uh, uh, they want to enroll. Uh, they they want to get your online classes. Uh, saan sila magpupunta para ma-reach out ka? Well, uh, actually, you can contact me directly if you have questions. Sige, so I'm very hands-on. Do you want me yeah. to uh, to write your uh, your number here? So uh, can you dictate it? Yeah, yeah. It's 0917-325-325. Zero two two eight. Zero two two eight. And then our num our email is admin at cwl institute dot com. C- and then our official C- w- sorry cwl institute. Because it's too long. Now we're too long. I'm not too 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 long. Lang hindi proper yung ano. Admin at cwl institute dot com. And I have three websites to share. So the official website that we have, where you can know more about our services. It's www.cwliglobal.com. Cwliglobal.com. And then for Mandarin, so we have www.cwlinstitute.com. And then for Korean, dun sa mga nanonood ng Korean ngayon, lalo na lockdown, para at least maintindihan nyo yung Korean yeah. language. That yung Philip, ang pagtuturo namin dito sa Korean language is ano, Taglish. So, maiintindihan nyo. Maiintindihan nyo maigi. So, www.cwli-korean.com So, yun yung mga tatlong website na pwede yung ma-access so that you can maximize your time, energy, and your resources, especially right now during the lockdown. Maraming job opportunities na naghihintay ngayon. Six-figure income opportunities while you are inside your house. So, wag nyo sanang palampasin to to grow yourself. Okay. Interesting discussion. No? Nakakasampung interesting na ako. Pero this is a great discussion. Na lang. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> great discussion. Thank you, na lang. Okay. Uh, thank you so much for coming over to the show, uh, Kiel. Really an honor to have you and uh, have this conversation with you tonight. And I'm sure maraming na-inspired dun sa story mo. And uh, syempre, na-motivate mo pa sila. Bonus na lang yun. At the same time, we're able to introduce yung importance ng language. Uh, vis-a-vis yung opportunity that they can actually make out of learning the high skill, uh, high skill, something, the, yung high skill na sinasabi mo kanina. Yeah. Uh, because worth naman talaga yung investment. Especially ngayon nga, na, kung nasa bahay lang tayo, it will be a really, really helpful ano, uh, tips yung mga binigay mo. So thank you so much, Ezekiel Del Rio. Yeah. Thank you, Lloyd. Have a wonderful evening. God bless everyone.
more success. Okay. Oh, balik tanda naman ako. Parang parang gusto kong maging host kasi kaya napipindot ko si Kiel. <laughs> Tapos ako yung bigla, para ko yung guest, ako yung nawala. <laughs> anyway, sige. Maraming salamat ulit. Ibinalik kita. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so maraming salamat sa ating guest ngayon. Nag-enjoy ba kayo ngayong gabing ito? O sabihin niyo naman nag-enjoy kayo kasi uh, maganda. Actually, may nakalimutan lang ako. Hindi ko na pa-translate sa kanya sa French yung uh, thank you so much for watching the new channel. At baka pwede ko siya ibalik. Nandito pa siya sa studio. Tatawagin ko ulit, ha? Ibabalik ko. <laughs> Kaya lang ka pa. Kaya lang ka pa. Pa-translate naman sa French. Uh, thank you for watching uh, the new channel. Merci beaucoup tout le monde pour regarder le nouveau chaîne. Oh. Que vous finis ce jour. God bless everyone. Okay. So you know, di ba, nagpaalam na ako. <laughs> Thank you for watching the new channel. <laughs> Amazing stuff, guys! Huwag lang kayo magiging tamad. Malaman nyo lang in six months kung paano mag-Spanish, kung paano mag-French, kung paano mag-Mandarin or Korean. Oh, six-figure income daw. Kahit na kayo hindi pa nakakapagtapos ng pag-aaral, at kahit na ano pa man ang edad ninyo, or gender ninyo, sa bahay lang daw po kayo. Kung marunong kayo na magsalita ng language na ito, hindi po kayo magugutom. 7.3 million people are now out of jobs. Go get in touch with Konozur World Language Institute sa mga website and contact details po na ibinigay nila dito sa atin during the program. Magbigay din po kayo ng comments ninyo kung may mga questions kayo. Uh, yung ating live stream will be, is recorded always live. So maglagay lang po kayo ng mga comments ninyo dyan sa stream. Mababalikan pa po natin yan. This is your The Big Picture on the new channel. Maraming salamat, uh, Puzzle Box BPO Inc., ating pong presenter ng show. BPO Puzzle Box uh, BPO. <laughs> Puzzle Box BPO Inc. Gutom na kasi. <laughs> Puzzle Box BPO Inc. is a uh, BPO, Business Partners Outsourcing Company, na pwede pong makatulong sa inyo. Kung wala na po kayong taong mabigyan ng sweldo, dahil mahal mag-maintain ng mga tao, so outsource nyo po sa kanila yung paggawa ng website or pag-maintain ng yung social media. Or if you want to amplify your your sales using uh, social media, punta po kayo sa puzzlebox-inc.com or email po ninyo si Apple sa apple at puzzlebox-inc.com. Maraming salamat din Unisol, uh, Luluran, uh, Telepreneur, mga, mga sponsors natin, uh, Step Back, uh, Paps, at saka Pretty Voices. Sa inyo pong walang sawang pagsuporta sa aming TBP o yung The Big Picture. So hanggang sa lunes, Sunday po bukas, meron tayong uh, Holy Mass at saka Christian Services bukas po dito sa TNC. Hintayin nyo lang po yung link uh, kung saan nyo mapapanood yung ating Misa at yung ating live stream Christian Service. Ako po si Lloyd Luna. This is The Big Picture on the new channel. See you on Monday. Because ito po yung ating last episode, season finale, season 2 ng, ng season 2 ng TVP. So season opening, grand season opening po sa Monday ng The Big Picture. Huwag po kayo mawawala. Ah. Monday po, alas 7 ng gabi. Maraming maraming salamat sa panonood at patuloy na pagtutok sa The New Channel. Ito po si Lloyd Luna ulit sa The Big Picture. Stay cool, stay safe, and always, always stay blessed. Bye-bye everyone. Thanks for watching.